you know, we have a bishop, an emeritus bishop, going over around Rome near the Vatican, holding hands with a young lady. So, and he's promoting very probati. Mm -hmm. So this is, this is something. I think that they're, you know, this is a message for me. They're saying, I don't know, we don't care what you think. We're going to yeah. do it the same. Yeah. Yeah. And what strikes me is, I mean, this is, this is a problem, but the, wor the, the problem that's much more worse is that you would not baptize people. You know, the the, yeah. the gentleman who threw the Pachamamas into the Tiber River, in their statement, they said, one of the reasons we did this is because a certain people, the Amazonian people, are not being given sacramental baptism, which is the way to heaven. That was one of the reasons uh, for this, this act of destroying the idols. And I mean, this is a huge story that a lot of people aren't discussing. And that is that the these Amazonian people, and I'd like you to, for you to explain us what we are talking about when we're referring to these Amazonian people, because I'm, I've read about it and I, I've seen some research, and the TFP has done a lot of things, but I, I, we need to hear more about what this is. These people, you know, we're just dialoguing with them and putting an Amazonian face in the church, but and we're talking about how they need married priests and women leadership, but if they're not baptized, they can't receive any sacraments at all. It's a complete farce. Yeah, um, do you know, this is very, this is ridiculous because, for mm -hmm. example, Krautla says, I never baptize an, an indigenous and I'm not going to do it. So what is, what is his message? In one way, he thinks like a Jesuit, you know, like the, the Orwell double thinking. <laughs> he says, um, uh, I never baptize an indigenous and I'm going, not going to do it. And another side, he says, we need a very probati because people need the sacrament of the uh, Eucharistic. You are a liar because you cannot give them the, the, the uh, Eucharistic if you do not baptize them. So you have some hidden agenda. Yes. What is your hidden agenda? You, you are an open eco-socialist eco and you are trying to push your agenda through the church. You are trying to use the church. As Gramsci, and as Antonio Gramsci told us, he would do, and you were following him. Yeah. That's he, your agenda. He's he's not Brazilian. He's from Austria. <laughs> yeah, as all Indian theologians are, they say this is indigenous theology. This is India theology. I said, okay, who's um, uh, I don't know um, how do you say this shaman? Yeah, yeah. What's Brazilian yeah. in uh, Amazonian shaman is it's writing. Where are the books? Yes. And you will have. Only books like Reutler, Reutler, blah, blah. It's only Germans. Right. <laughs> it's like liberation theology. It's all produced in Europe. Yeah. All produced in Europe. It's, it's preposterous. So what we are talking about when we talk about Amazon, we are talking about 80% of people who live in Amazon. It's like, I don't know. It's 30, 30 million people who live in the Panamazonic region. All of them live in uh, urban areas. All of them. Almost all of them. And the 20 or 15% who doesn't, they live in small tribes uh, that do not talk to each other. And when they talk, almost um, all the times they fight and they yes. kill each other. For example, the Incas in the middle, uh, the middle Andean, Indian region there in the north of Peru, um, they captured all, they, they actually, they built big cities, the Incas, they built big cities, and then they used their force and their army to capture the small and weak tribes to use them as sacrifice to the sun god, or to the Inti, they would call it. So, uh, and uh, I went to Machu Picchu, I know that region very well, and uh, they killed, or actually they used to kill each year in the, the, the sun feast day, they killed 10,000 virgins. So is this ancestral wisdom? No. no. For example, when we think about Brazilian first appointed bishop, Bishop Sardinia, Bishop Sardinia came to Brazil in July, June, June 50, 1556. He came to Brazil. His ship, his ship, uh, ship sank near the coast when he, you know, very thankful to God, he arrived at the coast. The Indians killed him and ate him. 